Hey everybody, let's join this Ravnica. Oh god, damn. am I always just the first person in the queue? Is that just like, am I just like always one of eight in this queue? I don't understand. Man, anybody who complains about Arena being like, well, they're bots, I'm just, I want to laugh at you because your, your criticisms are so like minuscule compared to all the other advantages of just being able to jump in the queue and draft immediately and then you can leave during your draft and you can come back to it and uh all right let's do a chaos draft then i lied to you <gasps> okay all right so if you guys are watching this video i hope you went by the title that said chaos draft because oh look at this seven of eight all right let's see what we got here we opened an onslaught pack oh boy here we go I'm not gonna read these I'm gonna let you guys read them as I slow as I quickly hover over them I don't think it's click slither I literally have no idea what to pick here. Onslaught is so weird because all the cards are so reliant on other creatures. Okay, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. And this is just a 2 2, but like for six mana, you can flip a thing. That's pretty bad. All right, well, we got to pick something here, I guess. Yeah, this is like what I'm leaning towards, actually. I'll take Echo Tracer. It's blue. Whatever. It's fine. I don't think it's great. Like, six mana to flip so to, to bounce something is a pretty terrible rate, but I guess you can spread it out. I am leaning towards Shrewd Hatchling. Uh, actually, Spitting Image just seems pretty nuts, right? Six mana to create a token, but, like, you can retrace it as well. Yeah, this card seems busted. Like... I don't know how this got passed, but I'm going to take it. Yeah, I really don't want to start with the triple red card that needs goblins to be good. I said it before we started recording, but I may have to take a call during this, uh, during this draft portion or just sometime during the stream. So hopefully you guys won't mind that. It should be quick. Hmm. I could take a loose a looser angel seems fine here. I mean it's a four four flyer. Like having to cast two guys is not the biggest problem. Yeah, I'm gonna take the illusor angel. <laughs> yeah, when the president calls, you just got to answer the call, you know what I mean? Child of Alar, when it dies, destroy all non-land permanents. They can't be regenerated. No one's going to have fun with that. Hmm. Vidalcan Outlander is actually pretty good. 6-6 six, six, Trample, like it has no evasion. They just double block and kill all your things. That doesn't seem great. Oh god, the national emergency nonsense. Don't get me started. It's what a joke. I think it's probably just Outlander or Cumberstone here. Cumberstone's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, I want to take up the Cumberstone. This seems like it just crushes certain strategies. Uh, okay, okay. Probably echoing truth. Artifact creatures you control gain flying. Affinity for artifacts. It's probably just echoing truth here. It's my little thing. Oh, Curiosity's pretty sweet. 
Uh, no. I'm only looking at the the blue cards right now. I mean, well, I'm looking at all the cards, but I'm mostly leaning towards blue because we have no other colors right now. Chitter Boy is pretty good too, but we all right. Yeah, Silent Departure is good. I like Curiosity though. Put it on a flyer, draw a card every turn. I think Curiosity is a little bit better, but oh, I like a time and put a creature on its own as a library. That card's very strong. For three mana? What a deal. One four flyer for three. Two five for five. So this is basically uh, the wish coin crab of the set. Hmm. Oh, these cards are great. I'll just take the two five, I guess. Just to say sorry. <laughs> MTG Pyro, really appreciate it, buddy. No harm done, man. We had a good time. We had a good time. Whenever a player cycles a card, this gains flying and shroud until end of turn. Three four for five is actually not terrible with a with a potentially reasonable ability. Oh, the shrewd hatchling came back? That's gas. It gets Shroud and it gets Haste. Well, it's probably just getting Shroud. Let's take the Hatchling. Oh, Mishra's Bobble? That's just Cycles. We could take the Battle Rattle Shaman. I don't know if that's any good, though. We also don't have a second color yet, so... Whatever. Hmm. Return it to its owner's hand to end of combat. Yeah, I mean it's it's like it's not like you're paying seven mana for this thing, so it really does need a down a downside, a drawback, if you will. I'm a fan of these. Uh, we can also go Misha's Bobble into Illusory Angel on turn three. Yeah, we're never going to get the land, so. Still makes us. This card's still very good on its own. Um, Mercurial Geists. 1 3. When it, you cast an instant or sorcery, it gets plus 3, plus 0. Oh. I do not foresee us playing that many. We have like 3 right now. 1, 2, 3. Turn creature to understand, draw a card. It's pretty nice. Um, could just take this guy. Whenever it attacks, you get two one ones that are attacking. That's pretty good. Is it worth committing to red though? I don't know. It also works well with our shrewd hatchling. It could be very good. I like turn aside. I, don't, I think I think this is just gonna be better. I'm gonna take this. Call the kindred. Wow, we went from uh, from Eldritch Moon to Dark Ascension. That's interesting. 
two chant of the skiff sang. Neg 13, neg zero. That's basically just getting, that's just removal. Half a year and it's Valentine's Day already. I love you. Also, a shout out to my wonderful girlfriend, Lottie. <laughs> oh, love you too, buddy. Love you too. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may look at the top five cards. So, if you do, you put a creature card that shares a creature type and enchant creature. Nah, it's not getting played. Hmm. 3 2 flying with an undying is pretty good. I'm not a big fan of the red or blue cards in this pack. I'm not a big I'm not a big faithless living fan, but those let us cast a Lucery Angel pretty easily. Hmm. Alright, I'll take Luton because you guys like it. Patron of the Aki. 5-5 five, five for 6. Goblin offering. You may cast this card anytime you can play an instant by sacking a goblin and paying the difference in mana cost between this and the sacrifice goblin. So it's basically it's basically um, the Eldrazi ability. I forgot what it's called. Whenever it attacks, creatures get plus 2 plus 0 oh until end of turn. This seems great. Even as a 5-5 five, five for 6 with no discount. Like being able to give our 1-1s one, plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. That actually seems pretty good. 1-1 one, one for 2. Nope. 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 Thank nope. you. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna take this guy. Chris Uski, man, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I don't know why we're celebrating the St. Valentine's Day massacre, but okay. Six months, three years in a row, man. Thank you so much. That is a ridiculous amount of time. This guy is also pretty good. Taking me back. Taking me back. Yeah, I'm just going to take this guy. Oh, a shock is nice. No lightning strike. No volcanic hammer. Stormcrow. That should take you guys back. Telepathy. I'm just going to take the shock. That's a good... That's a good trickity doo da. Target player draws two cards. Then Cerebral Vortex deals damage to that player because the number of cards they've drawn this turn. So this is just draw two. Deal two. Unless your opponent draws like seven and then you can nug them for nine or something. I mean, it's actually pretty good. Two cards for three cards for two two life. I'm okay with it. You became the light on the dark side of me and love remains and the wrong and the hind and the fear but did you know when it snows that you shine can be seen <clears throat> baby Now that your roses in blue. Any player may have this steal six damage to them. If no one does, destroy all creatures. Okay. Target player swap six. No, we're not milling. Um, counter a sorcery. Draw a card, discount a card. We got one drop, one drop, one drop. Gets plus two, plus two until end of turn, unless any player has four. This guy deal four damage to them. That's a yikes for me, dog. It's probably just envelop. This card is not very... This pack is not very good. If this guy was a 2-drop, I'd take it, but we don't really need more 3-drops here. Tap an untapped gate. <laughs> Someone's getting that last pick, that's for sure. Uh, Enchanted Land has target creature gains flying. Activate this ability only any time you can activate... You can cast a sorcery. Okay, that's weird. It's probably just Shattering Blow. It's just a good artifact removal. We have a third pack, thankfully, because we kind of need some more. Ooh, I like Mer Mercurial, Mer Mercurial Geists coming back. You guys like this turn aside, but I think this is actually pretty good for our deck. 
Because it's plus three, plus two also. So it's like if you cast two spells, this guy's hitting for seven. That's pretty good. The light on the gloom of Thank you. Rich. Not Victor G with the sub. Thank you so much for the... Oh, Bermernane. Thanks so much for the, for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome all. I don't think any of these cards are any good. I'll just take the Chosen of Markov. Um, Doesn't matter because it's not... It's just a phantom draft. Eh, that guy's actually playable. <clears throat> 3-1 or a 4-2? Sure. Oh, book burning came back. Under Realm Lich. Oh, Crackling Drake and a Runaway Steamkin? That's interesting. Do we take the Runaway Steamkin and then just hope Crackling Drake or Hip Hypothesis or Goblin Electromancer comes back? Because that seems pretty, pretty likely. You guys like the Drake, the Drake over the Steamkin? Hmm. Thank you. Xanthor, welcome back. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Or the resub, rather. Welcome back. Yes, flying is good. I agree with you. Flying is good. But I think having two drops in early plays is also good. And this is also more... I'm going to take the, I'm gonna take the Steam Ken. I think you guys are... Also, the, 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 the Drake's power and toughness is literally based on how many instants and sorceries you have. Oh, I kind of like Ghostfire Blade. Plus two, plus two is really strong. Yeah, that's really good. We can also play this, and it's also another cheap spell that we can play to trigger the Illusory Angel. <clears throat> I think it's more important for us to have at least uh, one two drop in the deck to start making more manas off of. Profit and loss, protect and serve, and turn and burn. Turn and burn seems pretty good here. Yeah, we're definitely taking the turn and burn. I think we're in our I think we're in good colors here, guys. I think we did it. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Whenever one or more creatures blocks silver coin, if you win the flip, each blocking creature is sacrificed by its controller. If you lose the flip, each blocked creature is sacrificed. Oh Jesus. No. <laughs> no. Draw two. I like it. Sacrifice a return target creature you control to his owner's hand. Okay, well, that's... Uh, it's, nope. Deal six damage target creature has dealt damage this turn. <clears throat> two, two for five. Whenever you cast the spirit, it deals one damage target creature. Okay, well... Two, one for three. Return a land you control. Target creature you control. You and shroud until end of turn. That actually seems very strong. No, turn burn counts as one. The same way, like, all the dual, this dual spells count as one. It's either one of these two. I'm leaning towards this because we already have, like, a, a, a draw two card and we already... Uh, giving our other creature a shroud just to return a land is pretty good. Ooh, Goblin Artillery seems insane. Goblin Artillery is a card where you're like, yeah, I'll gladly take three to, deal, to kill your 2-2 two -two or your X-2. Yeah, that card's very strong. We're going to take the Goblin Artillery here. So now we need to make some cuts. Well, a cut. Blood Scale probably can go. I think all our six drops are good. Hmm... Turn to Slag is actually very good. I'll, I'll play Turn to Slag over Lava Axe. 
Hydra Surge, don't care. Fairy Invaders. 3-3 three, three for... F yeah, it's actually good. I would also play this over the Warped... Uh, the, uh, yeah, probably. Oh, I'd probably play it over Warped Researchers for sure. And Crust's also very good. Hmm. And Crust doesn't tap the creature, it's worth noting. I almost want the 2-2 two -two flyer. Yeah, I think it's actually 2-2 two -two flyer. I think all our 5 drops are pretty re pretty replaceable here. Oh, I like an amass the components. Fervent Cathar is fine. Not super exciting. <clears throat> Stone Rite's fine. Yeah, I think it's a mass the components here. Draw three and then put one card from your hand on the bottom of your library. It's just insane. Three, four, or five or two, five. Which one's better? Hmm. Hmm. I never an artifact in this battlefield against flying. I don't think we're going to have any other self-assemblers come in. No, I don't think that's going to be a, a thing. <clears throat> I do like self-select for inspection. That card's actually pretty good. We can we can take that. Crackling Drake came back, y'all. <laughs> so did Goblin Electromancer and the Izzet Guildgate. All right. Well, Drake it is. It's a pretty easy pick. Cancel is nice to have. Yep. All right. We have one two drop now. Also 14 creatures. We can definitely cut a creature, but we just got a, a couple of really good playables, so. Hmm. I don't think we need select for inspection and echoing truth. Wow, Nimic Cyclops came back. Might just play that guy and be on the like the incident sorcery plan. Oh, this draws a card and triggers our other things. This deck actually looks very good. Maybe we can cut the Ghost Fire Blade. Three to equip is pretty expensive. We can put it on the like the Echo Tracer though. We can cut Curiosity, I think. Hmm. Die Star plays. What's going on? Runaway train never coming back. What do you mean? Three cuts? Wow, that's a lot. I am not thrilled. I think it's probably Echo Tracer. I don't think the card's great. It's just a lot of investment. We can cut the Ghost Blade. I don't think any of these are getting cut. Maybe we can cut Sun Crown Hunter. I don't want to. Go to I don't want to go twelve creatures though. It's probably just Reach Through Mists, or we play sixteen lands and Reach Through Mists. But I don't think that's. Eh, it's actually not terrible because it lets us play a Looser Angel a little bit easier. Hmm. I don't think it's Cumberstone because I think Cumberstone is just too good. I also don't think with the triple six drop we're a, it's eight, uh, 17, a 16 land deck. Hmm. 
What's Rainmaker? Is that a card? Rain Shaper, you mean? I don't think that's... Is that a combo? What is that? What are you saying right now, Denmark? Return land to control of his own hand, target creature you control gate shroud. What's the combo? What am I missing? I think this is the deck. I could see playing 16 lands with this just because it's so good against Yeah, let's do 16 with the with the with the reach through mists. Nope. We'll just do 8-8. Oh, the reach race. There you go. There you go. Okay. I wasn't talk I wasn't thinking about the uh the mechanic. I was just thinking about the the card's ability in and of itself. Yeah, that's actually pretty sweet. All right, let's see if this deck is any good. It looks good. Okay, looting is pretty good here. <clears throat> and then we can draw two at some point. I think we can keep this. Runaway train never coming back. Gonna loot on the one way track. Spitting image and the truth. Put them in the graveyard, it's true. This is fine in the graveyard. We can just cast this at any time. And Echoing Truth, we already have select for inspection, so I'm not too concerned with that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we also have two one drops for the Illusory Angel if we can hit a another blue source. Or a blue source. Do you have any forests? Because if not, when you yeah. No, we we're good. Thanks, Magic Online. We're good. Oh, we did it. So on their turn, we're probably going to draw two. <clears throat> and then we're going to shock Illusory Angel on our turn. That seems good. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Whenever it blocks or gets blocked, it becomes a four. Yeah, I'll just be taking two, I guess. <clears throat> hmm. Unfortunately, all of our creatures have four toughness, so this guy is actually surprisingly good. As a 4 1. What is this? The beginning of your upkeep? Oh, that's fine. <clears throat> that is fine. Let's play old Hatcherewski. I'm sorry for using it as a distraction from my quantum homework from also being in a lab since 8.30 a.m. I'm about to explode. Say, so, hey, buddy. Definitely don't apologize for that. Let's do the deed. Our deck seems very powerful. <clears> hmm. 
<laughs> oh god. Oh god, this is awkward because now I can't actually cast this. <sighs> That's rough. That's really rough. We could save this, but there's no way we're going to, like... Wow. If we just bounced it, it would have been 3-3. Three, three. I think this is actually worth it. <laughs> Um, we can bottom that. It doesn't seem great, but I think it's fine. We get to keep a potential 6-6 in the future, and I think that's probably better. Or we can block this guy. I don't think we're doing that. Get in there with the 1-1-2. One, one, there you go. You figured it out. Yep, just taking three there. It's actually not bad, but I think we're just going to play six drop here. Um, because if we draw another land, we can go Cumberstone and Illusory Angel. But they do get to kill one of these things if they just don't pay the Echo, so that's actually pretty frustrating. Fire Malkavu is a pretty busted magic card. Shrewd Hatch. <laughs> oh, good times. God, it's, it's funny because like I don't think it was the right play to do this on our turn and just bounce this guy. But we'd be in such a different position. They wouldn't have had this guy. We'd be at 11 because we wouldn't have taken two. They wouldn't have been able to target either of these guys. This or the, the, the angel. The angel would still be in play. They'd be at 12. Like, it would just be a completely different game. Oh, they're just playing? They're paying the echo. I guess that makes sense because, like, if we block and trade, then they get to kill both things. However, we'd probably just block and block so they don't get the value off of the extra 4 damage. Yeah, this is actually just fine. But this can be a 6-6 next turn, so we can actually block here, take 4, go to 5, and if we draw land, we get to play Angel and Cumberstone. But then, like, the Angel, the problem is the Angel's just going to die to this Fire Makavu anyway. However, we could block the Fire Malkavu with the Cumberstone. With the Cumberstone out. Hmm. I'm actually wishing I kept this shock for when this becomes a 4-1, and then we could kill it pretty easily. Do we go to 5, or do we just wipe the board? I think this is probably better. Giving them no value from Kavu is probably stronger. Oh, and it's a must ability, so they actually had to kill their own guy. This was back when Magic didn't have May abilities. One, two, three, four. Put a card from our hand on the bottom of our library. Uh, I'm going to put the this guy. Yeah, that was pretty good. We traded. It was a two for three, which is actually like a probably more than that because we lost a Suncrown Hunter, a Shock. No, Suncrown Select and a Shrewd Hatchling. They lost a Thalad, a Raging Golem. Eh, it's a three for three. Defender. When you discard a card, you may sacrifice this. If you do, return the discarded card from your. Whenever you discard. Oh, okay, sure. What is this swinging for? One, two, three, four, five, seven? <laughs> it's a seven, two? Sure. I do have Imogen Yard. That is a good point. Easy to forget. Yep. 
Yeah, we have a lot of we had a lot of gas there. We had a lot of action. Goes goes without saying. Also, we could bring in Tome Scour and we can bring in Book Burning and just mill them, right? No. <clears throat> I actually don't hate this hand because of looting. He does always have gas. It's true. Okay, so we're going to get rid of <clears throat> probably six mana guy and five mana guy. Also, artillery seems good. We can block their two, three. Let it get plus two and then shoot it in the face. Cube is hard, but Chaos Draft is also hard. Whenever a land is battlefield, this game's vigilance. Sure, that's just a two three. That's your standard two three for three. This deck is pretty good. Runaway train, never coming back. Oh, it's runaway steamkin that that triggers this in my brain. Wow. Wow. That is the thing, isn't it? Yeah, I'll take two. If we shoot this, we just take three instead, so it's not really in our best interest. Sure. Got another island. Joke's on you, dummy. <laughs> so now if you want to pay for it, I will shoot it and take... I don't think you're going to pay for it. No one ever pays for Avalanche Riders. I stand corrected. So the question is, do we take two or do we take three? And the answer is we take three. And we draw two. I think we can actually wait to draw two until we have Shrewd Hatchling out. We don't need anything in our hand right now. As long as they don't play Fire Malkavu next turn, I think we're in good shape. Here we go. Oh, uh, this card's actually great. Whenever it's still damage, you get 1-1. One, one. That card's actually phenomenal. However, your 1-1s one, are pretty bad with my Cumberstone. Okay, well, we're looking for lands here. In all the wrong places. We can also bounce this and shock this, and that doesn't do anything, but... But maybe it does. Actually, I kind of like just bouncing this guy. Keeping shock up. Or we can bounce this and then shoot and shock, but then that gives him two tokens. We actually have quite a few options here. I don't really want to take four. Especially because a lot of our, our like this and this also deal us damage, so I really don't want to go that low. I am tempted to just echoing truth and and shock this or shock something or just keep shock up, I guess. Because this will make it a four four next turn, or at least, or uh, you know maybe a five five even. And it does force them to replay their five drop, which could be very good.
Yeah, okay. Seems good. That's true. They are zero ones. also play this and this make this a 5-5 five five, which is an easy blocker Nivix Cyclops we can keep up yeah we'll just play this guy also this triggers twice don't forget because it it says did you play a blue spell yes did you play a red spell yes okay that seems good and their guys less than that <laughs> The 6-6 six, six seems hard for the red deck to deal with, the red-green deck to deal with, but... these resolving are we still connected to the internet it looks like it well this is a thing I guess When I was playing my Black White Deathbringer Elysia deck, I agree with you. I agree with you. Oh, we did it. All right. Let's auto yield to that. I don't have any, any reason to stop when this guy's getting bigger. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. If they want to double, I don't want them to double block, and then we have to actually, like, double shoot this. Or we can double shoot this, I guess. But then we're taking, like, three. Yeah, I don't know if that would have mattered. So we can actually play Shock. This guy becomes a 4-4. Four, four. That's a nice meatball. Oh, they changed their mind. That seemed like a pee break, maybe. Which is the nice thing about Magic Online is that you can do that. I can get up and go to the bathroom. And uh, with Arena, I'm going to use all my timeouts if I do that. And then I'll just lose the game and miss like three turns, which is actually pretty backbreaking because like in Hearthstone, if you miss a couple turns, it's actually possible to get back in it because you're still getting your mana. And uh, yeah, sure, that guy's big. I do not think I have a way to deal with a 5-5 five five other than, like, attack with Shrewdy Boy. Well, that would be good. There's no way they block. Literal zero way they ever block. Liter literal zero. <clears throat> it's literally zero.
Yeah, I think this is the turn for this. We can't block this guy, so we do take four. We can block everything else pretty easily. Oh, let's not F6 here because... I don't want to be like, hey, let me respond to a thing by shooting something and then not being able to do it. This might be 41 cards. I might just play <clears throat> an extra land here. That is not what we are doing. This is a... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Holy Jesus. I guess we'll just take six and sacrifice this guy. My God. I was not expecting that. Not the mana we're looking for. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, if we shot them end of turn, we'd probably just win here. Maybe. God, we're so close, right? Oh, wait, we can just target them with this. Six. Yeah, they're just dead. Unless they can gain life at instant speed, I think we're in good shape. Or deal us six at instant speed. I always yield to these. Why did you take these off? I don't understand. I want this to be the last thing that resolves because otherwise it puts us in a really awkward position of like potentially dying. Wow, that's that's insane. Cerebral Vortex, back when you can target your opponents with card draw. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I feel like we have enough card draw that I can just literally put another another island here and be fine that was good stuff I will play first. It's Hodor time, baby. <laughs> okay, sure. Sure. Yep, Sign and Blood definitely counts. I feel like we should play Lava Axe. I mean, I know it isn't very good, but there's just, I agree with you. There's definitely something where you're casting a Lava Axe and killing them is like literal chef's kiss. Oh, two, two for two? Okay. I'm just going to play this guy. I 
we could play around, but if we actually get to untap with this guy, then it's like, you start mowing down things. Do we block? Probably. I'm, I'm okay with blocking here. If they want to, like, shock this, fine. Yeah, alright. I mean, like, Robo Mach is pretty good. That card is also pretty good. This time I'll likely not block. The problem with not blocking is we take two and then the first activation we're going to kill is to take three. So it's like, I don't really want to take a million just to invest in this guy mowing down their things. Oh, Bushido one is obnoxious. Unless they attack with it. Wow, that was pretty impressive. I will not block. Thank you. All right. Nifty Chris, 11 months in a row. That's like a Twitcher's dozen. <laughs> is it? Is it like a Twitcher's dozen? Hmm. Well, I don't want to attack with this anymore. I could play a 3 4. Let's, let's just block here. Wish I had a bounce spell here. That'd be great. I'd like to save the 3 and the 3 to play next turn if we hit a land. Cumberstone makes this a 3 4. It's not great. I think it's just 5 drop here. We could also double block the Reaver, and then it's a 2 for 1, but we're probably just going to take 4 here. Bakers get an extra, streamers get one less. Boy, ain't that the truth. Ain't that the truth. No blocks. Give me a land here. Sure. That's not a land. Hmm... Let's we'll play Cumberstone because it makes it so neither of these guys die. Sure. Oh, a mountain, eh? Is it cast or play? If it's a non land card, you can cast it. Okay, so they just got nothing. Nice. It's not a land, Mom. Oh, that's a classic. That is a classic. This guy having to attack each turn seems like a liability more than anything, but I don't know if our opponent is just mono red. It's likely. Land? All right, we did it. I think this is actually a fine trade. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I think that's okay. We've gotten a lot of value out of this already. Plus, we have to play Nivix Cyclops and Looser Angel into uh, into a mass next turn, which triggers this guy. Feels pretty okay. A trumpet Blast. Okay. Well, you still have to cast it, so that's all right. So if you, yeah, that's fine. We're just going to take one here. If they want to Trumpet Blast, we'll take more. But if, if this guy becomes a 2-3 and then they Trumpet Blast, like, cool. Are they dead here? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is exactly. Seems good. Unless they have, like, Shock for one of the 1-1s. One Fascinating. Discard Island. <laughs> Put on top. All right, that seems good. I guess we should have done that first then. Uh, no, they didn't have to have a shock. When, if, with the Bushido, this becomes a 2-3. And then it becomes a 4-3 with the Trumpet Blast. So it kills anything we block. No shock needed.
You just put a land down under. Wow. Wow. Oh, I guess we could have killed them that turn. I didn't think we played a land. I didn't even think about it. That's okay. I just like... I, I like it on hard mode. It happens. It is, it is what it is, guys. What do you want from me? Mulligan here. I don't love this hand, but I I, I think if we get, if we hit one land with we're good. I'm gonna keep it. All right, we'll give it a, we'll give it a shot. One island really gets us going because we have a draw card, we have a scry a card, and then we can play this. Like it's fine. You got it. Oh, wow, we're good at this game. Holy Jesus. Oh, good times. Good times. Yep, that's amazing. That's a hell of a card. Sure. Yeah, I'll keep that. That guy seems very good. Oh, it didn't even... Wow, this is a real never-don't-have-it situation, isn't it? This card's not going to finish the game for us. I would much rather just block and be less far behind. Hmm. I don't want to put this guy back because then they just attack with they just cast an attack with it anyway, so we take three. Oh, morph. Okay. Why didn't you play that last turn? Fascinating. I have no idea what this could be. Like, it could be any set across magic, so I'm just going to block it. Sure. Okay. Really? They want to discard this? Make this a 5-5 five five and then... Why would you not discard this to make this a 5-5? Five five?
That's weird, man. Oh, cool. I didn't even keep the... I kept this up because I wanted to be like, oh, if we hit another land, we can play this, but... We're actually just dead now because we didn't hit a land. All right, so concede. Like, our hand is insane. Like, why wouldn't you just save the Gaithen Raiders? I mean, obviously it's a misplay, but... Wow, that would have been insane. Envelop actually seems pretty good here. We saw at least one sorcery, which is the uh, the backbreaking one. If we can draw island island, it's gonna, or uh, mountain mountain, it's gonna be pretty ridiculous. But all right, I'll take mountain. I'll still take mountain mountain. Mountain mountain still seems good, <laughs> like very good. Why didn't you... Okay, I guess it was turn... Okay, we're getting... All right, all right. Hmm. I'm going to play this because it actually trades here. All right. I mean, unless they kill this, of course. They did not. I will take three. Not ideal. Yeah, I don't even know how this happens. <laughs> like, it's a draft. Like, how does this even happen? Oh, boy. Choose target creature. I assume the first part's going to be zero. And then you. That was actually pretty good. Okay. Ooh, is that good? Actually, that's actually not bad. It's not great. I guess we could double block here. I hope they try to play a sorcery. That's not a sorcery, that's a furnace whelp. Yes, okay, we did it. Oh, if we had one more land, if we had one more land. We're doing it. We're living the dream, though, guys. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Gonna block this dude with all of my drakes. He's looking for drakes. The drakes. I'm 
Dream enough. That's fine. I drew a card off that. We know one of your cards is a 2 2 dashy boy. And we do get to play Sun Crowned Hunters this turn. And if we hit a land, we can play both of these guys. So we're just going to play this Groundy Boy. Okay. Oh, uh, I like Steam Cannon to Mercurial Geists. Oh, actually, I like it. I like Steam Cannon to Illusory Angel better because it lets us keep up uh, Envelop. And we might not be able to play this with only Envelop in hand. So. So I have to double block here. But they could just block with 3 3 3 3. Yeah, that's not great. Playing the Singleton event in MTGA gets you Urza's Saga Art Duress. Is this awesome? Yes. Uh, isn't the M19 also Urza's Saga, though? No, maybe it's not. Am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. Yeah, Mishra Bubble seems fine, but it seems terrible otherwise. And, like, we already have a bunch of one-mana spells that, that trigger it, so I'm not super concerned with it. Like that. Yeah, we're definitely getting in there. I'm going to assume this is a Gaithan Raider. I mean, you're going to discard your last card, so this is a two-for-one, and you take three. That seems fine. So we can draw three here, or two here, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nah, that's not gonna do it. Next turn we have a pretty easy uh Oh, we're not dealing ourselves three for sure. <laughs> I was tempted to make them draw so they can take two extra two extra damage. So it'd be ten though, and they'd be at three. But I'm pretty sure this game is uh pretty locked up here. Well, that's a good one to hit. But you have no other cards in hand, so like we get three blockers. And we take four. Yeah, that does nothing really. Wow. All right. So block you. Block you. Oh, that guy can't block. So block you. We take five. Uh, I don't want the Bushido guy actually. We'll block here. This seems fine. They have no cards. We, we take five. They have nothing in the graveyard that they can cast. So we take two. We take seven and go to two. And they're just dead on board. Four. This is going to be a 3-3. Three, three. This is going to be a 4-3. I think these blocks are fine. Are, we, are they not dead on board? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god. We messed up. Oh, we can play Shrewd Hatchling to plus this guy. 
Okay. <laughs> I was like, whoo, that was close. We almost messed up because we needed the Vortex to pump both of these guys, but it's okay. We had Hatchling and we had Warped Researcher to, to plus this. No, not, not to plus this guy, but we had to have Shrewd Hatchling, basically. This would have been four, eight, nine. So our deck is pretty sweet. I literally can't picture the duress from Urza Saga. I'm looking it up right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. What do you have to do playing the singleton event? How many do you have to play? Do you have to play like four matches and win four matches to get to get a playset? You need one win to win one promo. Okay, so you'd have to do you have to do four four runs of singleton. Gotcha. I will keep this hand. We can draw two on turn three. And we can keep reach for illusory angel on four. So it's a four four on turn four that literally just draws us a card as long as we have a second island. Oh, a Duress and a Galta? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. And I have to make a deck for it, I assume, right? <laughs> singleton, a Singleton deck? Is it standard? It has to be standard. I don't know what I'm asking here. So Echoing Truth is pretty nuts here. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I'll take one. We can wait. I really want to be able to play uh, Illusory Angel and keep hitting land drops here, so... That's fine. Nice. We can also just play Shrewd Hatchling here, which I kind of like a lot. Yeah, I like that better. We can play through the Mists and uh, reach their Mists and Illusory Angel next turn, and then it gets up two counters. 100-card Singleton? No, it's got to be 60-card Singleton in Standard, right? Playing 100 unique cards in Standard seems pretty rough. What does this do? Plus two, negative one. When it dies, choose a creature at random. Wait, where'd the other goblin go? What happened? They cast Infectious Rage targeting the goblin. Oh, the goblin died and then they put it on our guy? Why would they do that? <laughs> you done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron! Oh, what did they think that was? Did they think it was plus two plus two? Have they never played that card before? Well, that was something. That was a thing. All right. Well, I'm just going to submit like this. Our deck seems very good. Please explain what just happened. I cannot. I cannot. Um, I'm really reluctant to keep these no island hands, but I will. Because one island in this hand is infinitely playable. I think that the fact that their name is I Am Sneaky uh, just makes it so much better. The card was Infectious Rage. beautiful which says give a creature plus two negative one when that creature leaves the battlefield or dies or whatever uh you attach it to something else at random so they probably put it on their goblin thinking it was like plus two plus two or something their goblin died 
and then it attached to my 2-1 or my 2-2 two -two, which made it a 4-1 no bobble because it doesn't do anything we already went over this did I not I thought it was somebody else I guess it was, oh yeah I already answered you because we have like five one drops we don't really need a bobble that does nothing I would I mean we already have enough like cantrips and things like that in our deck Plus, I'm just sitting there holding a bobble, waiting to play it because of an angel. Like, it's not really that great. I mean, I guess it's a cool interaction, but, like, it just doesn't do anything. We're X the number of elves on the battlefield. Timberwatch elf is utterly insane. Thankfully, it's only plus one, plus one right now. And they cannot activate this. Sure. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for love in all the wrong We can play Geists here, and the next turn we can reach and play Shrewd to draw a card. And to trigger this guy. I think that's probably better than just exposing this guy. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. We take a donation for standard and build a deck based on criteria, mill, burn, etc. Or do you only accept? Um, I prefer a uh, a skeleton at least, an idea of a deck. The closer to better spells, I really hate that argument. I, I hate it so much in limited because it's not a matter of having better spells, right? Like it's like. All your spells in Limited have a use. You're playing them because they have a use. Like, I would have to take out a, a worst card. And even my worst card has a use, which is why I put it in my deck. Either it's a flyer that can protect things and retrace. Or it's a time ebb so I can deal with a 5-4. Like, Limited's not like Standard where you have a worst card. Like, it's, it's, it's a much different format. I go over this a lot. Actually, I might just want to block. Well, this guy becomes a, what, a 4-4, four, four, and this is a, this guy just gets plus X plus a million. So we attack, and then they're like, yeah, I'll just give this guy plus one, plus one. Oh, that's good. That's nice. And we have two bounce spells in hand. I kind of do want to get in there and like we can just take this whatever it may be but this guy can also pump now it comes a 6-6 six, six. oh my god so we take what 6 12 I don't think we're in a position to be attacking here I'll just keep my reach through mists in hand what about bob bell I don't know what that is I have no idea what that is Bobble? Oh, Bob, I got you. I see what you did there. Like, hmm. This is actually fine. This is a chaos draft. Every creature triggers when I cast the spell. Nice. Nice. Always yield, always yield, and always yield. They have two cards in hand, so I'm okay with that. And they're going to cast one of them. Or they're going to pump this guy. Nice. I was hoping you'd do that, actually. I mean, we take seven, but it's just kind of a waste of a turn. Oh, shock is nice because we can just kill. Oh, wow, this is great. Oh, yeah, this is going to be... This is Blowout City. 
Yeah, I don't care about that guy. We can also just play Patron of the Aki. This guy can't actually pump anymore, which is something. So I'm actually going to kill you. Because this guy kind of has to go. Eb you. I'm just going to eat both goblins here, I guess. Hmm. Seems good. Well, I wanted to use it on these guys, but I'm definitely going to let myself uh, <laughs> not die to that. So now, even whatever they get back with the uh, with the God Pharaoh's gift, they just we can block it with Patron, and they only have three creatures anyway. So it's probably Timberwatch Elf. Then you can make a five-five. It's not Timberwatch Elf. Okay. That's interesting. Stop triggering. Orzhov Knights based around Quende or Vampires with Bishop of the Bloodstain and Sanctum Seeker. Is that too vague or could you work? Um, Just give me a, a rough shell. Maybe like 12 or 16 cards you want in the deck. Just so I know what I'm doing. And also, would that be standard, I'm sure, correct? Um, They still have to pay the Echo, right? So, I don't guess that doesn't matter, really. I don't know how we beat this other than like giving our guys shroud. Actually, that's pretty good. It's target creature you control. Okay, so if they wanted to pump something, they could. Yep, that's actually great because it, well, this automatically gives you whatever you need. All right, so we're definitely bringing in that remove artifact card that we brought in. <laughs> No? Okay, good. Good. It's not terrible. They have nothing that blocks floaty boys. God, I really want to... I wish I had this Steam Kit in play, but there was no real opportunity to play it, I don't think. I bet they crack this clue stone. I would. I would. We did not talk about the Nexus ban. I think it's pretty stupid. I think it should have been banned in standard, not just in standard best of one on arena, which is kind of obscure and a little bit confusing. 
it's weird that you have cards in your collection. No, oh, Enchanted Land is a 5-6. Are we dead? When it becomes blocked, sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 4. No, we're not dead. They take 3. All guys are very big, so I'm not super concerned. Uh, Liliana's Contract is a great card. I think it's drawing four is super sweet, but I mean, your odds of getting uh, four demons on the battlefield at once are almost impossible, especially because there aren't that many demons in standard. As soon as you go to cast your fourth one, they'll kill your third. It's just never going to happen. That's interesting. Although, again, we're one mana shy from being able to do both of these things. Hmm. Hmm. This is four in the air. This is six. So this is ten damage right here. Nothing has trample, unfortunately. You're not that many demons in standard. I think you mean you are not. I think you mean uh, Y O U apostrophe R E, right? Oh, just making, just checking. So a guy blocks this. We also burn this. It takes. They take six. Right, and I want you to think of like I think I want you to think of like the odds of drawing four of those five in your entire deck and playing them at the same time and your opponent not dealing with any of them. You know what I mean? Like I think when you start looking at it like that, it's a lot it's a lot harder to to wrap your head around. Or easier to wrap your head around. No creatures in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have five. So if we have four, we can go, we can let these guys through. I think this is okay. I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. And I want to keep both sides of this up. I don't think having the runway steam can play is really going to do anything. Right, like that's the thing. Like if you have four demons in play and your opponent isn't able to deal with them, you're winning anyway. I'm pretty sure they have to alpha here. Just that guy, huh? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So this would deal three. This would put them to eight. This would put them to five. These two attacking in conjunction will put them to one. Hmm. And they just get this guy back next turn, don't they? I think this is fine. Did it not give me a chance to respond to that?
That's fascinating. Oh, I'm definitely not forgetting that. This is not a hatchling. This is a hunter. Yeah, but I'm definitely not forgetting that. I'm, I've been counting it the whole time. So they block. It deals three. They go to eight. We shoot it. They go to five. This is four combined. Oh, the hatchling's unblockable ability? Yeah, that's not... It doesn't become unblockable. It says a target creature can't block. Like, we don't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have eight mana to make all their guys unable to block it. Like, it's not unblockable. That'd be insane. I think we just play if we hit a land here it'd be great because we can play this and this we got three blocks right we can block their three biggest guys one two three four five six seven eight make this a zero and then kill something else i think that's actually okay Yeah, Afrit dies and hits them for two, but they have to actually attack with the Afrit, and we have to not die in combat because this will trigger post-combat, so it's really tricky. Yep. Yep, this seems like an alpha. We were waiting for this. Okay. Let's make it to blocks. So we're going to shoot this in response to them doing it. Ideally. This might just be too many guys, right? We can deal with f this guy and this guy, and then we block here, here, and here. Yeah, all right. You, you, and you. If we maybe take four, five, six. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on. Oh, this seems good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We just make this a zero, right? And then they would take six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's rough. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. God, we're so close. I don't think we can actually block here. I think we actually have to block one of the bigger guys. So we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Or we take... If we can kill this and this, we take 1, 2, we take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's still exaxes. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, we should have blocked here then. Not worried about it. If we blocked here, make this zero and shoot like this guy. We're taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we would have actually survived there. This was just bad blocks all around. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's so hard. This is so hard. Because they just pump this guy if we get rid of this guy. 
doing two to the dinosaur doesn't do anything. Like we're dead before that triggers. their way oh actually no this still works this still works yeah we finalize blocks because they lose all abilities I think it still works the first part is going to go on you the second part is going to shoot you I think this still works I have no idea I mean it's in God's hands now <laughs> Because if they pump it now, it still becomes an, o an O1. They see if they pump it now or they never pump it. The 4-4 four four still resolves, but then so does mine. Mine resolves last, makes it an O1. Oh, it's base power and toughness. Oh, that's that's what... Okay, because it says base. That's the biggest problem. That's annoying. Yep, okay. Wait, where did it go? Sure. That was stupid. Yeah, we just had to block. Yeah, I didn't realize it said base. That's the only problem. Yep, definitely bringing in Shattering Blow. Ah, it's so annoying. Shut up and take my money. I'm terrible at magic, but I do love to give you information you already know during the crucial parts of a game. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. <laughs> we have a good time. We just had to block differently. We just had to block correctly and it wouldn't... I think cancel can actually come in too. I'm going to take out Warped Researcher. I don't think that guy's great. Let's take out a non-creature. Did you see PewDiePie put it in? I did not. That's... Pff. Wonder how much wizards paid him for that. <laughs> take out the Cumberstone. I think Cumberstone's fine to take out. I will keep this hand full of three drops and one four drop. I think this is fine. We're on the play. Yeah, I think we win that game 100% if we actually just block correctly and we go to zero. Or we go to one, rather. That's actually good. All right. So now we get to play Garrison next turn or Goblin Artillery, depending on what we want to do. Wow, I can't believe, like... Oh, yeah, we're just playing Garrison here. It's a very stupid Swede. Wow. <laughs> I could just kill this. They take two, we take three. I think that's fine. It might be better, actually, because a lot of their guys are susceptible to this card. And uh, Hanwire Garrison, if they play any other creature, is not really getting through. So I think this is fine. See anything that kills this guy? I'll take it. That's fine. We have nothing to pump this, so I think the 2-3 just on board is better. Can I find the announcement about the modern themed product being announced really soon? Um, you want to you want to know you want to you want to find the announcement for the announcement? I do not know where it is actually. But I bet you can google it and find out.
any land. Patron of the AK seems insane here. We just stack the triggers and it's like, put this underneath this and it's pretty bonkers. I think the announcement announcement was on a weekly MTG stream with the prefer yeah. Yeah, good times. Huh. All right. Let's try to hit a land here. This is a goblin, actually. We could sack this to patron. And then attack for a million. Could also Serial Vortex, but I really don't want to do that now. Just like shoot this guy, sack this to patron. Oh, as an instant, too. So it costs three? That's pretty sweet. Okay, so just to be clear, I can just kill all of your things, right? So this would cost three mana, and we get rid of this, and we play it as an instant, and then we can attack with everybody. Oh, and we can spitting image if we hit a land. Oh, we're doing that for sure. land shock actually shock is okay pumps this guy your mom's legendary got him okay so this goes on first this guy goes on make you boys the attacking boys get big I don't think you did. Yes, I did. Did I say copy this? I meant this because you get to pump it with shock and it also pumps itself. Uh, yeah. Fine. So you take six. You take seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. None of these dudes have trampy boys. These guys trade. So you lose everything on board. Okay. I accept. I feel like that's good for us. I might not have known that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I noticed it. I don't know if I knew that. Here comes God Pharaoh's gift. Yep. That's fine. I mean, we're just going to kill you with this guy next turn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think if no spells were cast, you cast the spell. Okay. Why is it a 2-2, two -two, not a 4-4? Four -four? That's weird. Shock and lethal? No, that's an extra 5 damage, not an extra 8 damage. Not even close? I'm a good math dude. Okay. Alrighty then. We can just copy this guy. 
Doesn't get haste though. Nah, we'll just kill them. Arctic is great. So you're taking seven. Shoot you in the brain. Could have also killed one of your blockers. That's a, a fine trick as well. This guy does not. This guy does have haste. Oh, it deals two damage to a flyer. Okay, that's fine. I forgot this guy had haste because none of the none of the keywords are represented. It doesn't say haste. It doesn't say it's a four four. Like, all right, I think we just won. All right, did it. Nailed it. That was a pretty sweet chaos draft. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below, and you can also. Uh, Find me at MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And I uh, really appreciate if you guys are in the market for that kind of thing anyway. You can use the affiliate link below. And uh, definitely helps me out. Helps you guys out. So really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you next time.